Hey there, my friend, welcome. My name is Dr. Anthony Balduzzi. I'm the founder here at the Fit Father Project, and my team and I get asked by guys all the time, Dr. A, what is the best vegan diet for bodybuilding, and how do I build muscle as a vegan? Is it possible? What's the deal? Can you show me the ropes? And the answer in this video is yes, absolutely. In fact, it's not only possible to build lots of muscle and quality muscle quickly as a vegan, it's actually pretty simple. And we're gonna show you here in my kitchen some of the exact step-by-step -step recipes um, and how I recommend you structure your diet in general. I know you're gonna learn a ton in this video, so get out your pen and paper, take some notes, and let's dive on in. Fitfatherproject.com all right, so let's get into a proper vegan bodybuilding diet. Now, before we get into the actual foods we have laid out here in my kitchen, uh, the first thing we need to talk about is that you need to be following the fundamentals of a proper muscle building plan in general before we even look at the specific foods. So you need to be on a proper training plan that uses progressive resistance, meaning you're lifting heavier weights in subsequent lifting sessions. You need to be using the proper compound exercises. You need to be resting and recovering adequately. You need to be supplementing properly. So regardless of what your diet is, whether it's an omnivorous diet, Diet or a plant-based diet, if you're training and your sleep and your recovery are not dialed in, you're not gonna gain muscle, even if you're eating, quote unquote, the right vegan bodybuilding foods. So need to lay that out there. Now, moving forward, we're gonna assume that you have some of that stuff dialed in. If you do not, and you want help on the exercise and the workout things, then scroll below, check out our five best muscle building exercises and our old school muscle building program. Now, when we're starting to set up a vegan bodybuilding diet, the first thing I like to do is set your protein target. So for most bodybuilders, a good rule of thumb, whether eating plant-based or not is to roughly have 0.8 grams to one gram of protein per pound of body weight. So um, in, in kgs, that equals like 2.77 grams um, per kg of body weight. So this is really important because we're gonna work our way into your proper macros, your protein, carbs, and fat targets based on that protein target because protein is one of the more challenging things to get on a vegan diet. There's plenty of, there's carbs abound on vegan diets. Some of the best plant-based foods are rich in carbs. There's lots of healthy fats with our nuts, our seeds, our oils. Proteins are a little more scarce. So we gotta set that protein target and then find the protein sources that we're gonna fill in there. So let's use an example of a 200 pound guy. Protein target for that person might be around 150 to 200 grams. So let's just use a 150 as a uh, low protein target. Now we need to figure out how many meals is this bodybuilder gonna be eating throughout the day. So as a rule of thumb, there's lots of different ways to set up your meal timing and one is not better than the other. You could certainly intermittent fast and have one, two meals a day, but we're gonna use just a general, have four meals spaced throughout the day every four hours approach, which is a tried and true classic bodybuilding approach. So let's see, a breakfast at eight, lunch at noon, mini meal snack at three, dinner at seven. That's a really easy way to divide that up. And if we have 150 grams of protein and we divide that across these different feedings, these four feedings, we're roughly gonna be having around you know, 35 to 40 grams of protein per meal. So really, really important to figure this out because once you know how much protein you should be having in any individual meal, it enables you to start to create um, actual meals that hit these targets. So we know now that there's roughly four, there are four calories per gram of protein. So if you need um, 150 grams of protein, that's 600 calories. Now we also need to figure out the overall calories that you need per day. And this may seem like we're getting into the minutia, but we're not. This is the key foundational stuff. If you are under eating on your meal plan, and you're not gonna put on the muscle. So we need to make sure you're eating the proper number of calories. So we created a free calorie calculator. It's an Excel, uh, a Google Sheets. You can look and scroll below and you can actually make a copy of that and enter your numbers to figure out the calories you need to eat per day because we gotta figure that out and then figure out how that protein target fits in. So let's say for our 200 pound guy, his calorie target to build muscle is 3,000 calories. Let's just say that's the answer. We know we have 150 grams of protein, which is 600 calories. That leaves us with 2,400 calories that we're gonna fill in from the fats and the carbs. And however you fill those in is gonna be you know, up to you. There's, you know, you're basically gonna mix and match from there, but we know that we have 150 grams of protein, the remainder of the 2,400 calories are coming from fats and carbs. So the way I would set up these meals is I would divide up that protein across the four meals, so we know we're roughly getting around 35 grams of protein per meal, and then to hit the remainder of that, I imagine that our carbohydrates, you know, without doing the math, which is just ballpark figures for this uh, purpose of this video is roughly going to be around 80 grams of carbs across those four meals. So that's going to be, um, do the math for me, around 320 grams of carbs a day. And I, we're roughly going to have around 100 grams of fat divided up across those four meals. So that's roughly around 30 grams, of, 30 grams of fat per meal. So your meals might look like 35 grams of protein, 25 to 30 grams of fat, 80 grams of carbs. And I built a meal that's just like that to show you. So 
Here's a meal that has a cup of quinoa, which is the highest protein grain that if you're bodybuilding um, and you're on a vegan diet, you're gonna get used to eating quinoa because per 40 grams of carbs, one cup, it has 10 grams of protein, which is pretty good for a carb source. Then we have some sprouted and soaked pinto beans. Great source of protein, great source of fiber. Pairing that together with some hemp seeds, good source of healthy fats and proteins. And I have a little bit of avocado and some sriracha hot sauce on there. So this meal in total has those exact numbers. It has 30 grams of fat, has around 35 grams of protein, around 80 grams of carbs. Really, really good simple meal. And you can see how easy that is to make. I cooked the quinoa in bulk. I got beans that were actually pre-made from a company called Eden Organic. And what they do is they actually soak and sprout their beans um, and they pressure cook them to get rid of some of these anti-nutrients and lectins in them. And so they're ready to go right out the gates. Um, and I paired it with some healthy fats with the avocado and the hemp seeds, which also has protein and the omega-3s in it. So this is an example of what a bodybuilding meal like, might look like that's very simple. Didn't require lots of meal prep. And there's so many other ways you can do this. Alternatively, you can get something like a sweet potato that I cooked up right here. Um, and it's just ironically just sitting on our kitchen counter. But a sweet potato, great vegan carb source. Because remember, so many people forget that carbs are just as uh, valuable for building muscle as the protein. We need to fuel your training. Um, and carbs directly stimulate the muscle building downstream pathways through mTOR. Insulin is a trigger of mTOR and protein synthesis. So without getting into the science, Carbs can help you build muscle, they're valuable. And the good thing about a, a plant-based protein diet and a vegan bodybuilding diet is you're gonna get plenty of carbs naturally in these foods. You're not gonna get away with not having the carbs that are naturally found in the beans, the quinoa, the sweet potatoes, the oatmeal, and some of these higher, higher protein grains like teff here, which is uh, an African grain that a lot of people, it's actually a seed, um, very high in protein, and you can make this in a rice cooker or on a stove top. So back to the what we're kind of constructing here in terms of this vegan bodybuilding diet. We're roughly dividing up to four meals. We know our macros across those meals and we're gonna create these kind of high protein meals. Hit your protein target, fill in the rest with the carbs and the healthy fats. Now, other important things um, is some good questions that people often ask about vegan bodybuilding diets. Uh, like Dr. A, I've heard that plant-based proteins are not complete proteins, like animal proteins. Um, is this gonna be a problem uh, for harming my muscle gains? Um, and the answer is no, it will not be a problem as long as you're eating a wide variety of different plant-based foods. Yes, any individual plant-based protein may not be a complete protein, but when you combine these proteins throughout the day, your body has all the amino acids it needs to build muscle. And so this is great when you pair something like the rice plus the beans or the quinoa plus the beans. Um, this is going to be plenty fine. You're going to have the amino acids you need to build muscle. Now there's one amino acid in particular that is a, a direct trigger for muscle building that's called L-leucine. And this is typically found in, uh, in the richest abundant most sources in animal proteins, in dairy, in eggs. Whey protein is a super high source. So what the good plant-based protein powders do these days is actually spike them with L-leucine, which is a good trigger for protein synthesis. So this is an example where I recommend to help you hit that protein target, you get a quality plant-based protein. So this is a Garden of Life sport that also has some leucine in it. So this might be something you might use in post-workout uh, to get another 15, 20, 30 grams of protein in there. And you can actually pair that with some fruit to begin to replenish some of those glycogen stores in your muscle and your liver. So I hope that's starting to make sense. Now I wanna ask, uh, answer another frequently asked question we get about vegan diets. What's the deal about soy? Is soy gonna be estrogenic? Is it gonna kill my gains? And what the research shows, and this is research from 15 randomized clinical controlled trials, is that soy in moderate intakes is not going to affect your testosterone levels and will be fine. Now I still recommend you get organic non-GMO soy, um, and I recommend you limit your soy intake when possible, but overall the research research shows is that you can have soy roughly around 70 grams per day is what the study showed is the upper limit and that's not going to impact your testosterone levels, your free testosterone levels, or your sex hormone binding globulin levels. So soy can be a part of your diet. I do not recommend you use a heavily processed soy protein. Um, those are like, it's just not a great idea. They have to go through a whole bunch of processing um, and bad things can happen to soy proteins, but you can get some whole, you know, organic tofu. You can get some fermented um, tempeh, which is a great fermented soy source. And here, I showed you what we can kind of do is start to build um, a plant-based protein uh, meal, which is a salad with some walnuts, um, some tofu right here, and then we'd pair that with a carb source like the sweet potato to hit those 80 grams of carbs. That'd probably be like two of these mini sweet potatoes. And again, we have a simple muscle building meal. So 
it's very, very possible. You gotta know your numbers, you gotta make sure you're eating enough calories and getting some of these really good, high quality plant-based protein sources. Another uh, thing I like to do, another good convenient meal for a vegan bodybuilding diet um, is to do what I call vegan prote meal. So you get some high quality oatmeal, around a cup and a half of this will be that 80 grams of carbs. Again, that may not be your number, but I'm using this example that we've been doing throughout this video. Around a cup and a half of this oatmeal, you're gonna mix in a plant-based protein powder and you're gonna add in some hemp seeds and some chia seeds and it's super easy easy to hit those ideal plant-based uh, numbers and really get a great muscle building meal. So listen, super possible to um, go ahead and have an amazing vegan bodybuilding diet, but you do need to prep ahead of time. You're going to need to cook something like quinoa in bulk. You're going to need to get your go-to carbs like the sweet potatoes, put them in the oven, or build the quinoa in bulk. So when you're going throughout the week and you want to get a, a, a meal, it's your meal time to hit that meal, that you have a go-to food source that's right there and good to go for you. Another thing that's important, whether you're following a vegan bodybuilding diet or you're eating animal proteins, is to make sure you're getting enough greens in your diet. So this is why whenever I'm making any of these kind of like bowls, if you will, these power bowls, I'm taking a scoop of greens, throwing it on the side. Greens are overlooked when it comes to a bodybuilding diet. Greens are important. They give you the vitamins, the minerals, the micronutrients, and the fiber to move that food through your digestive tract. Because it's not just what you eat, it's also what you absorb, and the health of your digestive tract is super important. So we like the greens, and I also recommend that you get a high quality probiotic source into your diet. So here is some, um, here's some sauerkraut, which is amazing. Um, you can also get, again, those fermented soys, like the tempeh can be something you include, or a kombucha, but get these into your diet because some of these plant, this is something that a lot of people don't talk about, so, but some of these plant-based sources have things called anti-nutrients in them, things that inhibit um, digestion and absorption. Soy has anti-nutrients, bean has anti-nutrients. So by getting a good probiotic source, um, and good, it, that's gonna help you digest food better and improve your digestion, improve the amount you absorb from your food. So overall, a vegan bodybuilding diet is 100% possible. I hope it gave you some simple and practical ideas on how you can implement this into your routine, and above all, Remember, you need to be doing the proper workouts. You need to sleep and recover. You need to supplement. We have tons of videos uh, about all that here on our YouTube channel, so you can check that stuff out. I'll link you to some videos below in the description, as well as that five best muscle building video that shows you the five best muscle building exercises, which are your classic compound exercises, but we show you how to do those in a way that's easy on your joints and actually works the muscles harder. So really good thing to check out. Thanks for being here, my friend. We are the Fit Follow Project, the men's health and fitness experts for busy guys who wanna lose fat and build muscle. So whether we're gonna help you get set up on a vegan plan, get you set up on the workouts, we cover everything. And just to let you know, our channel does cover meal plans that are not strictly vegan as well. We, we're on a mission to serve everybody, no matter what their food preferences end up being, whether they're paleo or vegan, we just wanna give you the system that works, and this system straight up works. So I hope you apply this. If you learned something valuable, or if you have some tips that you wanna add to this video as a vegan bodybuilder yourself, please comment below. Let us know some things that you like, some things that work, and I I hope this gives you a good idea on where to get started. Make sure you eat enough calories. Make sure you use our calculator below in the description. Make sure you get some of these high quality protein sources. And I hope this serves you and you learned something useful today. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit notify, the little bell to get notified when we post new videos. And I'll see you around our YouTube channel. And I'll talk to you very soon, my friend.